Hey, good evening, guys. It's KB5MIQ Big Boy. We're going to do a continuation of our MFJ review videos tonight. I originally was going to do all the tuners on one video, but uh, Kent and Jeff had, had both had really good videos with the auto tuner, so I decided to make it one video. And I'm going to talk to y'all about a manual tuner and a little voltmeter. Uh, well, Ham Radio Cat's looking for a way up here to get into stuff. Hope everybody had a great turkey day. Uh, we did around here. I'm glad to get it done, get it over with, get into the holiday season. And there's old Ham Radio Cat right up here in everybody's way right off the bat. Get up there. Not hit. All right. First thing we're going to talk about tonight, I'm going to flip this camera around and show it to you in just a minute. I didn't even know MFJ sold these. They've got... <laughs> An MFJ 4421 digital voltmeter module snap in 3.2 to 30 volt DC. It's got red LEDs for voltage and a blue LED for amperage. So let me stop this, pause this video a minute and we'll uh, flip it around here and I'll let you see what it looks like. All right. All right, guys, I've got it hooked up to that MFJ power supply. Little bitty snap-in gauge, 13.6 uh, volts from the red. I don't have the amperage side hooked up, but the amperage will be in the blue LEDs. Real neat little inexpensive gauge. If you do a lot of building, build kit stuff, this will be an ideal little add-on to your to your kit. And if you look up on the MFJ website, they show several things that it could be used, that it could be used with, like Raspberry Pis and things like that. But it's like 19 bucks on their website. I don't think it'd be a bad deal at all. All right, I'm gonna flip this back. Hey guys, now we're gonna talk about this MFJ 904H travel tuner. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple of specs before I pick it up. Uh, the MFJ 904 is a cross needle SWR watt meter, 50 ohm SO239 connectors, and a tuner bypass switch. The 940H also adds binding posts, random wire, and a binding post with a four to one ballon for balanced lines. Also handles 150 watt RF output. Now I'm gonna show you this. I was gonna try to do some actual video with it operating. A couple of reasons, we got a little bit of weather coming in tonight. I've never used a manual tuner. I've used this one some, and most of my antennas already resident anyway. I was able to get on the band edges and lower it down some, but I really felt like I might do another add-on video down the road, get over with Ken or Jeff and uh, play with this thing some more. Because like I said in earlier videos, Jeff and myself never have used tuners. And all I've ever used an auto tuner in the past. But I'm going to hold this up here a little closer. See, it's got your uh, dual needle, cross needle, SWR power meter, transmitter antenna, inductance knobs, 300 watt, 30 watts, which is 150 watts RF output. Backside, bypass tune. This is where your uh, 12 volt DC goes in for your lighted power meter, transmitter, SO239 antenna, your binding post for your random wire, ballast line antennas, and grounding stud. Very small, lightweight tuner. Be an ideal tuner with a for a go bag, POTA, field use. With this adapter, you can put a random wire straight into the SO239 on the back of it. Just like, uh, just like that right there. So, the thing with this manual tuner that I can see would be really good, it's not radio Pacific. You take that with you on a field day, Somebody needs a tuner, it won't matter what radio you put it on, they'll be able to use it if they know how to use a manual tuner. MFJ has been making manual tuners for a long, long time. Y'all know that better than I do. Uh, they've 
they're real good at it. There's all kinds of manual tuners MFJ, and they're all variations of that same tuner. So I don't see a bit of problem with it at all. I uh, wish I could do a little better video with it operating, but tonight with weather things, I'm just not going to hook up. Hey, cat. So, two, another, two more good pieces of MFJ equipment, a little volt gauge, travel tuner. I think it'd be a great uh, addition for any field day pack, polo outfit, or anything like that. Guys, remember, Main Trading Company in Paris, they have got more sales going on into the year now than I've ever seen. All kinds of coupon codes. They are blowing their inventory out. So check their website. The, the, the sales change daily. Coupons change daily. Follow them on Facebook. Richard posts videos on there two or three days a week with the latest coupon codes and what sales are going on. Best way to keep up with them. Get on their mailing list. Also another good way. Guys, we're 1,100 and uh, 10 subscribers at this can't Google count. It varies between 1,110 and 1,112. Probably hit 1,500. We're going to do another giveaway. Appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel. Really having fun doing this. And thanks again to MFJ for, for giving me a chance to work with y'all. This is KB5 MIQ Big Boy, Save 3.